Hey guys, um, welcome back to the channel. You know, I try to not vlog about my HOA situation um, for the past couple episodes because I, I just wanted to kind of step away from it and get some perspective. And which hopefully you saw, my son and I went up to uh, Corpatino and enjoy the Apple trip and, and Google and even the FSD thing, right? It was really cool. Um, then I come back to reality. Um, then here we are. And this particular vlog is gonna be a little bit longer, but I'm gonna share with you my current experience. Um, first of all, let me start off by saying, this is my experience only, and this is only from my perspective and my opinion, no one else. Um, you guys got it, for the ones that have been following me, you know the uh, challenges and things like that that has been I, I've been encountering as an individual and also it's somewhat of a community where I live with our current HOA board um, again this is my opinion um, and I want to make sure that there's not one single individual I'm going to point out at so you know it, it's the board and also there is the person the person okay the person he she it whatever oh but i do have to say this also on my prior prior vlog um i did mention two names uh, which i will not mention again here i apologize i didn't ask for you right although one of you for sure um you know doesn't really mind on the same token it was not right of me and i want to publicly apologize for using your names even though it was congratulations and so forth anyways but with that being said um one of the First things I want to focus on is regards, regards to is what as a resident of where I live is afraid of retaliation. Um, you know, let me bring back to a meeting prior, which if you watch my prior vlog around about the prior board meeting, um, I brought in a non-resident, uh, meaning a, a, um, a non-membership person. And it was from the DOJ as I said and from that particular action you know what happened I got this lovely thing it is a cease and desist order from our very own law firm by the community uh, this firm represents uh, North, uh, my community and the board member has uh, asked, request them to send me a cease and desist, meaning that, and, and the, the details, I won't go through all the legal jargons, um, of basically don't bring anyone that's not uh, on, your, um, on your deed, or, or, or that's your household. Um, hence, here I am, I just finishing visiting my lawyer, uh, literally, and he, they were nice enough to to allow me the space for me to do this vlog. Um, and let, let me also mention to you that by receiving this, um, I also spoke to my other contact, which that's why my Monday was so busy per my next door post. I talked to, I mean, again, my DOJ friend, which I brought in, and he, this is by the cause of it, um, talked to the DA, talked to the Irvine police, talked to all of them. And, um, you know, they're gonna do what they need to do, whatever that is. Um, but this is not neighborly. And what I mean by that is, from a legal perspective, this was really a waste of money, a waste of our HOA money. My lawyer, actually not just my lawyer, because I have other friends, but my own personal lawyer and my other contacts that are lawyers and a judge basically said, Larry, go home. They could have just gave you a nice friendly phone call and say, hey, please don't bring someone. Um, and also just, you know, write your note, email you, do something some more simplistic than going to their lawyer, costing whatever money that they need to do to do this to you. So here you go. If there wasn't retaliation, this is definitely retaliation. It's the very thing that I've promoted throughout time that this current board the way they engage with the residents is extremely aggressive. Yes, extremely aggressive. And it, it just, it's just not very neighborly. It's not neighborly at all. And that's what I've been promoting throughout time about 
my experience with this current board. They're not neighborly. Let me continue down the road and, and, and try to keep this short as I can. Um, yesterday was our uh, HOA meeting. The person, um, that person did resign. The question is why? There are several rumors going around. We don't know exactly why, but it begs the question of why would someone just resign? Maybe fatigue, maybe stress, whatever it is, possibly lawsuits. I don't know. So that's something that, you know, I would like to know as a resident. But, you know, be careful because too much invest investigation or too many inquiries or just questions in general will earn you one of these at minimum. Now, so lesson learned. I will not bring in another non-person on the deed within my address. Um, within, this within this discussion from yesterday, there was a host of questions that went on. There's like a million dollar shortfall that, you know, they, they claim that they're reclassing right now, reorganizing the GL, meaning that we balancing the check, uh, their checking book, the checkbook for our community. Uh, you know, of course it was the prior boards, you know, uh, legacy challenges they left behind, right? Not not theirs, but they've been on the sea for four years to, to see this, but it never surfaced up until we highlighted it. Then comes where, um, you know, someone did ask a blunt question of why did you, um, ha has that person actually resigned? And two, why was it not announced? Why is this so secretive? Why was it just through just a very specific channel? Definitely not my channel. I couldn't bring that news up front. I, I just didn't know. Um, for whatever reason, it didn't occur. Um, the person literally just very respectfully said, you know, um, you know, they're no longer on there, whatever, right? And, and that's it. No one makes a public announcement about resignations, right? Or so forth. But you would think the property management would actually make an announcement, hey, one of the board members has decided to step down. Um, gracious letter, like thank you and so forth. And I did thank the person, um, um, and I was disappointed. Um, and, and I'll bring you to that last point a little bit later. But I think the key statement is that the individual said, the person said, um, they will rerun and they will win. So that begs the question, why did you resign? Why did that person resign? I don't know, I don't have to answer to that. Uh, hopefully someone in the community does and have some clarity around it. But I for sure, I don't know why. And, and you know what, in some ways, I don't care to know why. Uh, but still that person, while being not on the board, was openly, had an open mic during our discussions. So that was the experience that I went through. So there's still gonna be many, many questions we need to um, get answers to, if you desire to. Um, but it's it's kind of not over because it's like, it seems like there's still a lot of influences um, by this, by the ex-member for say. Then comes where I got criticized extremely heavily because I have compassion. And that person, the prior board member, now I can say it's a prior board member, um, I felt like we did have a, 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 a friendship, at least neighborly friendship. No, that person wasn't my best bud. We didn't, we didn't go out to lunch. Or, that's not it. It was very um, respectable. I mean, I, I, I always state it and I will continue to state this. In the very beginning, I understand the spirit of the uh, initiatives. I really did. But throughout time, that, that, that sentiment has evolved into this juncture now. Um, you know, so when I express on the call that I was disappointed, and I'm sorry that tenure had to end early, um, on the call itself, you know, overall, no one said anything. And I wasn't searching for answer. But afterwards, I got criticized by my current majority of the current audience um, calling me various things like uh, you're weak, blah, blah, blah. Listen, I'm not here to strong arm anyone. That's not my goal. What my goal is trying to uniform, unify the community. That, that's my goal, to bring awareness. And to that respect, that's why I, I did feel bad. I have compassion for my neighbors. And, and that person, that family are my neighbors. And that's why I expressed that thought. 
most people might take it as a sarcasm, whatever else. Take it for what you, whatever you want. I'm here on camera in public saying it to you that I did feel bad. I have compassion for my 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 neighbors. Unlike this current board. Simple phone call would have done. But no, they want to go call their lawyer, waste amount, whatever money that we put towards to say, don't invite another person onto the call. Come on, man. You know, I've been, I mean, you know, my lawyers has said that they fired the first shot. Fire at what? I'm just trying to live in my home. And, and identify areas that of my are my concern. Yeah, parking is an issue for me. Not the $50, it's the principle. Again, I will hound back onto that because that's part of my cause. I've shown many vlogs that my street is empty. Majority neighborhood, 80% of the neighborhood is empty. It's affecting less than 10% or 20% of the neighborhood. And here we are penalizing anyone that has over a certain amount of vehicle. You, do you really feel good about that? Because for me, that's what's kind of about. But along the way, there are different narratives that has been painted throughout my other neighbors. And after I met them and sat down and really talked to them, they're nothing like the narrative that has been stroked onto them. So what I ask of my viewers and people that are paying attention, please take a look and, and really research what's going on. When someone or some group always been able to identify the problem then have the solution consistently that one perspective it makes you wonder how does the poison and the antidote get into the same hand so anyways that that's kind of my take but i i'm extremely disappointed as a resident of my community and this is not to, to, to really, for say, vet out or whatever. This is really just sharing my experience. As a resident of this community for almost 20 years, never have I encountered this. Guys, this is the only home my kids know. My son moved into this home when he was one and a half years old. My daughter was basically born in this house. So yes, I will also fight for our rights, my family's rights. There's a whole list of other things about property values and all this, whatever else. Right now, that's not my main focus. I am a father, I am a husband, I'm a provider, and I have to defend my home. That is what I am doing. And this stuff, this, these C and D, seriously? Seriously, whoever made this active to, to pursue this avenue, a simple phone call were to suffice. A simple conversation were to suffice. Instead, you, you strong arm by trying to scare someone like me as a resident using a lawyer? Yes, I brought in the DOJ because the mayor office was concerned or is concerned now. His concern is now also the PD, the DA. Yes, they are all aware. You have friends, as the person stated, but I have family. Family is thicker than friends. So that, that's where I'm coming from. And this is not a, 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 a strong arm tactic, but this is. So anyways, okay, stay post. Um, you know, I really appreciate all you guys as usual. I'm not here to vet, but I'm here to share. Uh, do continue to subscribe, and I will share content as most reasonably as I can. Um, as my lawyers over there has told me, do not name, no name. Not barely, even, I don't even think I mentioned the association. It's name, that is. Um, again, this is my opinion, my tangible experience. Um, I just want to make you guys aware, whoever lives in the community I do, be careful, because these guys will strong arm you, and they will throw their lawyers at you. Till then, 
Peace out. Stay safe and stay out of trouble. Take care.